All right, what's going on, everybody? Another pod review. This one coming from Refining Fire Chilies. You can see the website there, www.superhotchilies.com. In the back, it says, Potter offered the rarest and hottest chili seeds, plants, and fresh chilies. Coming from Mr. Jim Duffy. You can also catch that, catch that website in the description. Today is the yellow boot jalokia. This is a, it's a big boy right there. You can see he's big. Um, this is actually, I just grabbed up my plant just right now in the dark. It's a midnight over here in Florida. You can see it. That's kind of cool how it's, look at that, it's half orange and half yellow. And then it's still getting green there. But anyway, um, you could also see these two are also boot, yellow boot jalokias from the same plant. Um, and you see this is more of the yellowish color of it. And... Uh, this actually, if you really look at the um, the picture in there, I don't think you can see it in the camera, but if you go to this website and look and put bring up yellow Buchalokia, this is actually what you'll kind of see. You'll see some of them have tails on it, like right in there. But anyway, this guy, I'll just throw aside a ripe, and it's kind of, the weather is starting to get into the high 50s at night for a few days here in Florida, so it's kind of like probably just doing that thing there, but it ain't going to hurt none. It'll get nice and ripe. Anyway, I'll read some info on it. Just want to add too that this guy, as you can tell from the, it's a decent size here. A couple of these these guys here, but then you you got this, which is about an average. This is about an average, right here. And then you got a lot of big ones like this, like 20, 30 percent of that big. But then you see that Jim Duffy's is just a beast. I mean, look at that. It's all about growing. He has a nice drip system, and a nice little setup he has there. And, um, but I mean, you'll get a lot of them this size. Drainage is real important, guys. Uh, so really pay attention to instructions when, you, when he sends you the, if you order seeds or plants, let's pay attention to the instructions. Anyway, the yellow Bujalokia is a natural variant of the, of the Bujalokia, which is a red one, former world record, or the ghost chili, which they call it. Not as hot as a red relative, but still ranges between 400,000 and 600,000 Scotesfield units of heat. It has a nice citrus flavor and also produces well. And it does kick out a lot of pods. You see a lot of the, the um, it flowers. And it was a time where I had like 30, 40 of them, I believe, on the plant. Like around, these are the sizes it was. And I mean, actually, sorry, these. This is, see, yeah, that's a smaller one. And this is probably the, the, the size you get mostly of all, any of them. And it looks like a little bit of a fatality a little bit, but they, they're more bumply and pimply. As you can see with this guy, so let's go ahead and cut this guy open. See what's inside, and we're gonna gobble it down. All right, it's got that that slight boot smell, but also that that more sweeter, more that, that more citrus flavor or that smell, as you would in, a, in any kind of yellow. I really the only boots you look at I've really eaten that I liked was the white one, it was good, but anyway. All right, I want to. I want to. I got to say something about these guys. I was just talking to Ed Curry the other day, and I was telling him that, and I told a few people that this this pot, for some reason, is the hottest um, upfront pepper I've ever eaten. Um, this one didn't seem like it had that um, upfront heat. What I mean by upfront heat is just you pretty much bite into it, and it just right away heat. I mean, it peaks real quick. It's not a killer hot pot. Now, I've also eaten two of these right after each other. And I actually had a throat burn because I ate it like five, ten minutes after. So you got that like protective coating in your throat. It kind of burns it down. So it will give you a nice burn. So one of them is a really good good one to, uh, to give you that nice burn. And it's not overpowering. You could do a lot of things with it. You could eat it, just chew on it and... 
you know, take bites out of it as you're, as you're eating food, like my wife does, and I do sometimes. You could uh, you could chop it up, throw it in the in the, your your pots of chili and all that stuff. It will give it some nice heat, and uh, it does have a decent citrus flavor to it. It's not that overpowering. That just I just don't like red boot jalokias. They're just nasty, straight up. Um, I really don't like them. Um, but the yellow is, is okay. The white ones are good. I don't remember if I eat in the peach. I've eaten the peach, the Jay's peach ghost, but I don't remember if I eat the, the peach. I'd have to check in my videos, but I know they're out there. Yeah, actually, they're on his site, the peach bucholokia. I've eaten the chocolate. That thing was not that good, but it was hot. And I've eaten the yellow now, of course, and I own it. And I've eaten the white one. It was pretty decent. Any white pot. I haven't eaten a white pot that I didn't like yet. Where it could be habanero, bucholokia, uh... What was the other one I had? Anyway, I forgot. But anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. The heat's pretty much, it just peaks pretty quick and then it just lingers. But it's a nice heat. I mean, you do feel it a little bit come down. It does what they call like that GPS on and then you can feel it coming down your stomach. So it does, it does have some heat. It ain't no, it ain't no little sissy. But uh, not much else to talk about, man. But uh, don't forget to subscribe and questions and comments and likes. And I appreciate you guys watching. All right. Good night, everybody. Later.